What's up, guys? So basically, a little update since I haven't posted in a little while. Um, so I have my drop kit. I have everything from my truck for the long bed. Uh, you know, I just haven't been able to install it. I've been asking the mechanic shop. Well, I haven't really looked for anyone to install it. You know, I've just been asking right here. I asked the mechanic shop literally right next to my house, Chubby's. Uh, they said they, they said they were gonna take a look at it because they had a lot of cars, but you know they still don't tell me nothing. So I guess they're still pretty busy, and I don't want to bother them anymore because that's I, I've asked them like two times already, and they did they just keep telling me I, I got you in the middle of the week, in the middle of the week, but they never they never tell me nothing. So uh, basically, I called this other shop around. It's like twenty minutes from where I stay. Um, the the only reason I was using this shop right, uh, right here because it was really close to my house. It's literally, they're like my neighbors, so you know I would I would just have to drop the truck off right there. I wouldn't really have to like drop it off anywhere else. But uh, basically, yeah. So I found that other shop that's like twenty minutes from here. Um, I called them and they told me. I asked them if they can install it, you know. So and they they're like they just wanted to know what type of truck it was and everything. They're like, yeah. I asked them give me a little estimate and they said um well they wanted to go look at it so I had to go I, I gotta go take the truck tomorrow like well after I get out of work obviously go take the truck and let them look at it and let's see what they told me and hopefully hopefully you know the it's a good price worth to out at this point I don't even care what the price would be I just want to you know I've been waiting too long to drop it I'm gonna just you know tell them fuck it get on with it uh it's gonna be the so it so it was so it, so it was just gonna be the uh the flip kit the c notch i don't know i'm not sure if i should bolt it on or weld it on i'm gonna i'm gonna tell them that and it's just the, the three inch drop springs in the front those i could have installed myself right here but you know i just i just never i don't have the space you know i don't have nowhere to do it so so fuck it i'm gonna just take time to install the whole drop kit uh let's see how it goes so yeah guys i picked up on this little raw garden right here you know it's been a while since we had to smoke some raws it's gonna be a little man i don't know if you guys can read it like that but it's a, it's a sativa sativa hybrid my bad it's a sativa hybrid sour watermelon as you guys can see uh we're gonna take a few hits we're gonna take a few hits you know it's gonna be a little throwback one of those throwback videos where i'll just review it let you guys what i think about it and yeah maybe talk a little bit more about the truck my plans with it and all that so stay tuned uh what's up you guys so i'm back in the truck uh hopefully it's not too dark hopefully you guys can see me it might be a little dark you know sorry about that I literally just took like 20 minutes of my time trying to set the phone because they kept on falling on me. So right now I'm hoping it's recording, you know, hopefully. But uh, basically, you guys, uh, I also don't want to turn this light on because I feel like it's going to bother you guys. The reflection, I'm not too sure. I don't know. We'll leave it like that for now. So yeah, this is sour watermelon, as you guys can see. Raw garden, fire, as always. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, and by the way, it has 84.23% THC. You know, you guys probably can't see that, but yeah, it says right there. It is a sativa hybrid. I know I've said before, I'm like a real big fan of indica and sativa. But, you know, these past few days, I don't really like how, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, because I know what indica does to you. It knocks you out, gets you feeling off lazy and shit or at least that's how, that's how it gets me and i used to like it i don't know why you know i just used to like that little feeling of being all relaxed not not doing nothing you know but as soon as i started working more and more you know i started realizing you know i would hit i would hit that indica at work and it would just slow me the fuck down you know i would be like too slow way too slow so like little by little i started getting more sativas just for work and honestly i i can i can't I can tell a difference you know, you be hitting indicas and that it gets you all, it gets you all, you know, all knocked out and shit. Sativa, I hit it, it gets me high, but it, it doesn't get me like to a, to a high where, to a point where I don't want to do nothing, you know? It, it hits me, but it hits me in a good way. You know, I still want to do shit, you know, I'm still doing my shit good. 
when I'm high, you know? That's what I like about sativa. Don't get me wrong, indica is still my favorite. I love it. Just when I'm not, you know, doing something. Just when I want to relax, indica is the way to go. Or hybrid. But yeah, basically, this is a raw garden. Um... I don't know if it's just me. It looks it looks a little darker than usual. They might have gave me an old one. I'm not sure. I I did get it at Sun Valley Caregivers for you, those of you that are curious to where I got it. Um, it's literally right in front of my job site, so that's where I just go pick up. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I I was gonna pick up on Friday with some raw garden diamonds. I was gonna pick up on some diamonds. But, you know, uh, I ended up just getting this for now, you know, because when I'm at work, I need something to hit, and I can't hit the rig at work, you know. I can at break, but, you know, this is faster. I'll probably, I'm, I'm going to get some diamonds on Friday, though, because on Friday, that, that specific shop I go to, they have deals with raw gardens. I think they have it for, like, 20% off. So I'm going to go, I'm going to probably get me like some wax, see what's up. Right, don't get me wrong, you know, Indicas, I'm still definitely a big fan of them. They're still my favorite just when I'm not at work. When I'm at work, I'm going to go with Sativas, Sativa Hybrid. Um, it's my first time getting this sour watermelon flavor, so let's see how it tastes. I'm not sure if it's new, but it is in here. So like I was saying before my video got cut off. So like I was saying in the other video that got cut off, um, I don't know if it's just me, but the car looks a little dark. Maybe they gave me an old one. I'm not sure. I'm not quite too sure. But yeah, basically. But yeah, you know, let's just give it a try either way. It's still gonna be fire regardless. Um, I don't even. I don't have nowhere to set my phone, so I'm gonna have to hold it. I'm gonna have to hold you guys with my hand. Now I just need to look for the battery. Uh, but yeah, guys, you know, I have said a whole bunch of shit in the other video probably forgot to, that i'm probably gonna forget to say right now so you know sorry if i didn't if i if i make this too short because i basically said everything i was gonna say already but you know i kind of forgot it's all good either way let's get to hitting this i've been having this battery you guys hold on i need to screw on this little magnet on there because it needs to stick on the battery but yeah, guys, uh, this battery, I've been having it for like two years already. I think I have an unboxing video or a review on my channel uh, when I first got it. And from that day, it's been working like beautiful. Maybe it doesn't work as when it was new, you know, as good as when it was new. But it still definitely works pretty good. My cousin actually just bought one. He bought a black one and I hit it and it literally reminded me as when this one was new. It hits so smoothly, guys. It's just... This is a battery to go with. It even has it right here on the raw garden boxes. It has it in the back, C cell. And these are C cell silo. It doesn't say C cell, but it says silo. Um, yeah, they have these kinds and they have some, some thicker kind. My cousin also got that one, but he hasn't tried it. I haven't tried it either. Uh, either way, let's get to hitting this one. Hopefully you guys, you know, can see me good or something. Hopefully you guys can see me good and aren't uncomfortable with the camera. And cheers. It's been a while since we haven't done this cheers thing. So cheers, you guys. Uh, let's get it. So the battery is almost dead, guys probably didn't i forgot a charger or something i haven't used it in a minute i've been getting plug and plays but yeah it still hits <coughs> <coughs> Woo! wow amazing it's like every new raw garden i taste it's always just a little better you know a little better <coughs> wow it actually hits pretty good so what i'm getting out of this is probably some Hold on, I'm gonna have to take another one. I'm gonna have to take another one just to get that little flavor right, you know? And by the way, you know, when I say the flavors, you know, it's not, just don't take me, don't, don't, don't take me as a like, oh, you know, he said it's really good, so I'm gonna get it now. I mean, I, don't, I, don't know, I hope you guys know what I mean by that. Just don't take it that way, because, you know, we all, we're all different. We all, we all have different tastes. 
to me this is pretty good uh, let me just take one more hit see see what it tastes like to me um i i did feel i kind of did get a little watermelon taste to it but let me just hit it one more time just to make sure i'm right you know <clears throat> just to make sure Whew. cheers again Man, I don't know. The blinker, I'll probably take it uh, before before I end the video. For now, I'm gonna just take this quick little little hit just to just to get that little flavor going, you know. Okay, definitely. Okay, so you can definitely taste the watermelon on there. Pretty strong, pretty good. Woo! Wow. Oh, I'm trying not to cough like really bad or not. <coughs> oh my God. Wow. So sour watermelon, you guys. It's all messed up, but yeah, sour watermelon. Pretty good, real good. If you guys get it, you guys are definitely going to taste that watermelon, that watermelon flavor, like, right away. So, you know, that's good. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, I guess that's basically all my little reviews that I do. You know, I just say what I think about it, what I, you know, the, the flavor. I know they're not, they're not actual reviews, but, you know, they're reviews for me. Just act like the reviews, you guys. So, so just act like the reviews or some shit, you know? But anyway, so this it got it's getting me faded, you know. I I can feel I feel pretty faded already. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, other than that, I also wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, so yeah, like I told you guys earlier, I am gonna go get. I am gonna go take the truck to the to a, a little shop tomorrow. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna check it out, see how much they'll charge me just to install the drop kit. Uh, you know, I, I don't, it doesn't really, I, at this point, at this point, like I said, I don't really care what they charge me. I'm just, you know, I just want to drop it. I've been waiting too long already. Uh, you know, but other than that, you know, yeah, everything should be going good. I, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I was making a video for, uh, cause I was, I need, I was doing my front brakes on my truck cause I knew the front brakes, something squeaking right there. Uh, so I ended up ordering them on Amazon. So the 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 rotors that I got they they were the and the rotors that I got they were the correct ones, but the pads they were the incorrect ones. So I was like, fuck, you know, we had taken everything off. We had, we were doing those myself ourselves, me and the homie. We had taken the wheel off, everything off. Uh, fuck, we we had a new rotor on there. When we were putting the pads, we were like, fuck, these aren't the pads and shit, you know. So it was like all bad, and it was pretty late. It was like around eleven something, so eleven something at night. So nothing was gonna be open at that that hour, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, I decided we decided you know take everything off, put everything back on the old the old stuff back on. So we decided to put everything. Uh, we, so we put all the old stuff back on, and yeah, basically that that's how I am right now. So uh, I'm 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 looking into that too. Whew. So I'm looking into that too. You know, I'm getting some brakes and some rotors. I sent the rotors back too, cause you know it was on the same order. So I sent everything back. I I got the refund pretty fast too. So uh, right now I'm just looking online where I can find any, or else I'm gonna just go to O'Reilly. Uh, they might have some. I'm just telling them straight up, you know, all the details, so they won't mess up. Uh, but yeah, basically that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, it is pretty short. I had a way longer video, but. My, my freaking storage it's all good <clears throat> it's all good you guys just act like this video was long act like this was a good review and everything it's all good i'm faded as fuck so raw garden sour watermelon highly recommend five stars i'm out oh and more updates coming on the truck you know like i said oh yeah i'll, I'll update you guys on what i'll update you guys on what happens tomorrow if i get it ended up if i end up dropping it or not see what he tells me about the price uh, but yeah make sure you guys like the video make sure you guys subscribe uh and i'm out